Hey guys and welcome back for a new video. So today it's a USA haul. Uh, no, I haven't been to the US but I've been on holidays for two weeks and I went back home and my parents went in July in Miami for a month and of course my mom did a lot of shopping for me and uh, so I've waited like six months to get my items but I finally got them and I can finally film that video for you so um, just want to stress out that uh, so the video is a bit late uh, this week due to the attacks in Paris I didn't feel the heart to do anything on social medias and anything and I'm sorry as well that I haven't been active on social medias the past three weeks I was on holidays I wanted to cut a little bit to have a little break and it was really great and I'm ready and I'm back now and uh, yeah that's it I'm not gonna talk too much about it so let's get crack on and start that video because there's loads of products okay shall we the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this my first Bath & Body Works haul I'm so excited so there is only candles and some hand sanitizer because those stuff are pretty heavy so I just stick to the basics and I'm pretty happy with what I have so we're gonna start with this the hand sanitizer so there is 10 of them but um five of them are all warm vanilla sugar uh, because my mom couldn't find anything else I just want to point out the hand sanitizer holders they're so cute I have a fish and I have a really old-fashioned flamingo because I asked my mom for a, like really like vintage stuff from Miami and the flamingo is so great on my bag, I love it. So, um, the different flavor scents that I have are uh, vanilla berry sorbet, which is really great. I have um, apple crisps, which is really fresh, I really like that scent. And I have, of course, uh, bourbon street buttercream, and it's a really nice and buttery scent, which I love. Some people might not like it, but I like it. I have Maui Mango Mai Tai, and it's really tropical, feels like you're on an island, and that's really awesome. Then I have Pian Vanilla Sorbet, and of course the warm vanilla sugar that is in the hand sanitizer holder that I have right now. And that's it for the hand sanitizer, it's just awesome. I'm pretty sad that they've changed the packaging now because my holder you know, uh, are not gonna be useful, but they're really cute and they weren't over, my mom told me, so... That's it for hand sanitizer, I'm pretty excited about that. Now let's get to candles. I have three, I have a three weeks one, and I do have two small ones. So I'm pretty sad because my mom put some tape around the candle to protect it, so the um, tag is a bit gone. So this is the Val Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, and it's heavenly. I love it. It's, it's really what it says, vanilla and marshmallow. And the description says a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of a homemade marshmallow. Just love it. I can't wait to burn that. I was waiting to do that video to burn that candle. So now I will, I'm gonna be able. And I just love the fact that's my first Bath & Body Work candle and that's amazing. I'm gonna cherish that candle because I don't know when I'm gonna go back to the US. Well, I didn't went back but you know what I mean. And the other two candles, well, I got another vanilla um, marshmallow candle. Let's do a close-up. And I got a um, cherry blossom sangria. And it's a really interesting scent. It's actually really fruity and it's really summery, but I'm gonna probably um, burn it now. I'm not gonna wait summer, come on. I've waited so long for those items that I'm not gonna wait for anything. That's it for Bath & Body Works. Now let's get to the serious stuff. I have a huge bags and it's both drugstore and high-end so I'm just gonna pick up stuff as they're coming that will be easier for everyone the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what I have on my lips and it's the Bite Beauty high pigment pencil they um, the shade is quince and I'm in love those are $25 each just so you know but they're worth every penny it's 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 unbelievable you don't need a lip pencil you uh, the color is there in two seconds it's really easy to actually you know uh, draw on your lips and the color is amazing it's really great quality um, the color is pretty basic not basic it's kind of a berry red cherry color it's not too fresh it's not too red it's a perfect color I don't know how I did that because when I was on the Sephora website picking a color I didn't know what to choose they have so many colors 
and this one is really great so I really recommend the Bite Beauty if you want something really pigmented and that lasts longer and that is really comfortable to wear. Next item is, oh, from CoverGirl. So this was um, really on the hype side in, uh, on the YouTube, in the YouTube world and in um, the blogosphere. And this is the CoverGirl Clum Crusher by Last Blush Mascara. So that's the green CoverGirl mascara. And I can't wait to try it because I'm always on the hunt for good mascara. You know, it's one of those things. You always change your mind on mascara and this one can be a winner because I like the angle of the brush. It's curved and uh, usually my lashes love that. Next one is, oh, an e.l.f. matte lip color. So I don't have the packaging because I ruined it when I opened it. And uh, it's a really nice new rosy color. Um, I've heard... Um, not good reviews about a product on uh, the web, but I'm gonna make my own opinion about it. It was really inexpensive and I wanted to try health things for a long time. So I have this and I have a blush somewhere in the bag. You will see it. So I can't wait. Um, the color is, by the way, natural. Yeah, natural. Next I have, oh, there's two of them. Yeah. The EOS um, lip balm. So I have the coconut milk right here, and I have the vanilla uh, mint. It's open because it's in my bag actually, I'm using it. So it's gonna be like a whole kind of slash mini review of some stuff because I did try some stuff. I couldn't wait, honestly. And those are really great and handy. There's nothing more to say about it. Although here we're starting to sell it in the UK in places like. Urban Outfitter and in some boots, but they're $6.99. In the US, they're $2.99. Come on, they're lip balm. But they're amazing. I love it. I can't wait to smell that, but I'm gonna finish that first. Next, we have my favorite thing of them all. Well, it's not my favorite thing, but I've been trying it so hard lately. So this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, I got it only because of the two girls on the channel, Eleven Gorgeous. And they were recommended it so bad. It's so cheap and it's what I'm wearing right now and I can't stop wearing it. The only bad side is that I'm trying to have a look at it on Amazon and it's pretty freaking expensive. It's like 20 pounds for this. It's drugstore. So I don't know. I'm gonna be really sad. So I'm gonna be using I'm not gonna be using that every day. That's what I'm gonna say, but I'm in love. Honestly, that's the best foundation I've tried so far. It's doing so good to my skin. It's not cakey, it's really light, it's really easy to apply. It's even, I just I just love it. The color I'm using is 115, by the way, if you have a skin that is close to mine. Next one is the uh, Lights Camera Lashes 41 Mascara by Tarte. And it's something that I couldn't wait to try as well. So it's the famous Tarte Mascara. I hope I'm not gonna be disappointed because it's a really expensive mascara. And I hope I'm not gonna like it as well because it's hard to find it in the UK. But um, yeah, I can't wait and the packaging is so luxurious. I mean, come on, even just the box is luxurious. Next on, um, oh yeah, that's the ELF, oh yeah, see? Sorry for the packaging, I'm just gonna remove it quickly so it's like you haven't seen it. And it's uh, the blush that is called Tickled uh, Pink. And it really looks like a NARS packaging, by the way. And it's just an amazing peachy pink color. Um, let me swatch it for you so you can have a look. It's really, it's quite pigmented, but quite natural. I don't know if you will be able to see it on camera because it's a really like skin color it's really close to my skin color so but it's really nice it's a flush and it can be really good for spring or uh, well even right now if I want a natural look or a no makeup makeup day you know so I'm pretty amazed it was three dollars I think something like that so impressed by elf just need to try it out throughout the day I will keep you posted on that we have a buxom lip gloss so I've talked about it on my channel and on my blog but I haven't tried yet the full-on lip cream I've tried the lip glosses they're amazing I think they're my favorite lip glosses brand ever but those one are the opaque um, lip glosses and that is something that I haven't got in my collection so I can wait the color is creamsicle and let me swatch it as well for you. You'll see what I'm talking about because it's a really nice and opaque. They're long lasting. The colors, all the colors that I own are amazing. And this one is no exception. 
Look at that color, so you can see it here, of course. It's glossy, but it's opaque, you can totally see the color. And I know, because I tried them, uh, because I tried mine so many times, that they last longer. The glossy effect will go off, but you will keep the colors on your lips for a long time, and that's something I really like about that brand, and I love the fact that they are really comfortable on your lips. So I will recommend, I will re really recommend the lip glosses and of course the lip cream because even if I haven't put it on my lips yet, I know that they will last. Next, oh, something interesting that, um, you know, here uh, we have um, throughout the YouTube world in the UK a lot of hype around the concealer that looks like that. In the US and even in France, I realized it, we have the Instant Age Rewind foundation. So it's the same kind of thing, there's a sponge applicator, I will keep you posted about that, so uh, I can't wait to try it. I have the color 120 Creamy Ivory, and we will see. It's just unusual. It was quite pricey though for the US, I think it was around $10. So I hope it will work, because um, it has a bunch of Next, we're getting to... Oh, something interesting here, I don't know where is the other one, but um, I told my mom to buy one of the Yes2 Cream. Um, hand cream because they are amazing and they're great for your cuticles and they're great for your hands when you have really dry hands And she didn't like it. So she kept the cream for me, of course They don't have the same packaging first ours is just white and in the US. It's paraben free It's not in the UK. I'm just curious why I have to look up for that on on their website But um, I just wanted to point that out and of course it's less expensive in the US because it's a US brand We're getting to the expensive stuff. No still cheap so let me show you the two um, nails thing that my mom got me. So she got me a kit from Essie and it's actually, she didn't know it, but I was looking for that color. The color is watermelon and I have a top coat as well. It's like a gel setter, but it's a really good one. I tried it out already and um, yeah, we don't have that kind of kit here. Here you can only have, you know, a kit with two different nail polish, not actually a uh, treatment. So it's really interesting. And um, yeah, the color is great. It's a summer color again, but hey, I'm six months late to get that hole. Uh, but I'm gonna try it out, baby. Yeah. And the uh, Problem Cuticle Remover Advanced Aloe Formula Cuticle Care. That stuff is amazing. It's not here in the UK. We do have Sally Hansen, because that's Sally Hansen, but we don't have that. It's great. It's a cream that you put on your cuticle. You have two wooden sticks here to push your cuticles. It's great before you do a manicure. So I was running out of mine and she saved me with a new one. So um, if you can get it online, just get your hands on that. It's really, really great if you're into nails. We're getting into the expensive stuff again. So um, I was dying to try that. I'm not really an eyeliner person, but I wanted to try the Kat Von D one. And uh, so my mom picked one up for me and that's the tattoo liner. So I'm gonna do a little swatch for you because I'm nice. It's just one swatch and it's pretty freaking dark. And I know for sure that it's gonna be a pain to remove. So um, I'm not excited about that. But it's great on your uh, eyes. If it lasts all day, that's all I'm asking. And it's really dark and it looks nice and responsive. And the packaging is really cute as well. I love it. First Cat Von D product. I will probably do a review as well on it. There's just few stuff left. Something that my dad picked up for me because I wanted it and it was expensive. But um, he went back to Sephora and that is the Puppy Picnic um, palette. And the packaging is really, really cute. They say that it's inspired by the bright floral hose of season. This sleek iron chick palette includes flattering sun-kissed shades to take on any summer adventure. And that's so true. So this is an amazing design palette. I've tried it out already. The blush is amazing, as you can see. And the colors are all matte. And it's something that I actually don't really own. So let me do a close-up for you. It's a really, really nice palette. Uh, the blush is a bit shimmery, but it's great. Um, it looks a bit like Orgasm by NARS, but it's great. It's pretty pigmented. It stays all day. Well, it's its dream. And the matte colors are great, although I try them out and you need to put a primer on your eyelid. Otherwise, they won't last all day. That's the only downside. But other than that, I'm really happy to have a matte um, palette on the go like that because that's really practical for weekend away it's another palette than the next one but it's what i was waiting for and it's the park avenue princess palette so it's a bronzer highlighter blush palette and i'm in love 
I've been using it constantly during my holidays and um, look at that baby let me do a close-up for you of the inside if I can open it there we go well it's been used a little bit but um, you get the idea it's really pigmented the highlighter is actually really great it looks it's not too uh, it's not too much it's pigmented but not too much the bronzer is great because it's not orangey at all so it's great for my carnation and the blush is great on the go as well if you take the other palette and that on the go for a weekend you're good you don't need anything else to be fair and this is an amazing product so far so um, see a little swatch here I don't know if you can see it as well but it's just a tiny swatch and I tried it out for two weeks non-stop and I love it so um, I will really recommend Tarte um, bronzer um, palette it's just amazing what do we have left oh that's the last item of the bag and it's a Tarte blush it is something I was waiting for as well to be fair I was waiting for all the Tarte products because I haven't tried anything yet so I'm pretty happy to have them now, I have four of them, so I can do a full review, not of the company, but um, at least of most of the items, and I can get an idea about the brand. So this is the, um, uh, the blush Flush, and it's an amazing pinky blush. Um, let me just swatch for you. So it's, um, why can I put that? I'm gonna put it here. So it's just a tiny swatch, let me do bigger for you. There we go. So you can see it here. It's an amazing pinky color, no shimmer, nothing. It's just matte, it's just a dream. It's just an amazing opaque matte color. Great for every look that you wanna do. Last all day is the Amazonian clay. So it's meant to stay 12 hours. And um, I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to keep it nice and clean for pictures and for videos. But I'm gonna give it a go. So far, I love the other one that I have in the palette, so I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed by that because it's expensive as well. So I'm pretty happy to finally get to try Tarte because there's a lot of hype. I wanna know if it's worth it. Well, that's it for me today. The whole is finished. There was a lot of things to go through, and I'm happy that I'm finally uh, done with that. USA haul so now I can try my stuff and burn my candles. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, of course the now re videos are gonna be regular, they're gonna be another one next week and the week after and we're gonna get into the Christmas spirit. I can't wait. Um, you know what to do, follow me on social media, give me a thumbs up if you want and uh, don't forget to go on my website. Um, I'm working on blog posts, I'm working on a lot of things, that's why everything is a bit slow lately but bear with me. I'll let you go, have a lovely day and see you in my next one.